Hi guys. Normally in my quiet time, I read a devotional book named Jesus is Calling. I use this book because it helps me to structure my devotional time. Sometimes I just pray with the book and the scriptures. And then sometimes I begin with the book and then God will have me to explore scriptures on my own. And that is what happened today. As I was reading the book, one of the reference scriptures was Isaiah 60 and 2. It says, For look, darkness covers the earth and total darkness the people. But the Lord will shine over you and his glory will appear over you. This scripture jumped out to me. And as I read it over and over, I got super excited and encouraged because As a believer, we live in a world where there is so much craziness going on. But this thing that's going on was prophesied already. In 2 Timothy, the third chapter, it says, But realize this, that in the last days, difficult times will come. For men will be lovers of themselves, lovers of money, boastful, arrogant, Blasphemers, disobedient to parents, ungrateful, unholy. And if you continue to read the chapter, the list will go on. But since this is not an end time message, but more of an encouraging message, I will let you continue to read that on your own. But here's where my excitement came from in Isaiah chapter 60 verse 2. Is that even though the darkness is covering the earth and people, like those things that were just mentioned in 2 Timothy chapter 3, that God is going to shine his light over you and his glory will appear over you. That is so encouraging to know because sometimes as believers, we look out into this world and we see these things happening and we get a bit sad, but we cannot let sadness dim our light because when we do, those people who we are supposed to reach that are experiencing those dark things they can't see the light of God through us for example like let's just picture ourselves in a dark hallway right with a group of people and as we're walking through this hallway it's so dark and no one can see and they're yelling out your name saying shine your light Carmela shine your light shine your light and you're like I can't because I'm sad I'm depressed I can't shine my light And they're like, in order for us to get through this dark times, you have what we need, which is a flashlight. So turn it on so that we can get through this dark hallway. And sometimes as believers, we allow circumstances to get the best of us. I'm not saying you will not have persecution or trouble. No, quite the opposite. Because the Bible expressed to us and according to John 16 and 33, it says, I have told you these things so that in me, you may have peace in this world. You will have trouble, but take courage because I have overcome the world. Jesus is saying in this scripture that although these dark things are happening, take peace. I mean, he will give you peace and to take courage. You may be saying to yourself, How do I get this peace and courage when all around me is darkness? Well, I'm glad you asked. Prayer. In Luke 5 and 16, it says, But Jesus often withdrew himself into the wilderness for prayer. Prayer is so important. If Jesus, who was amazing, had to resort to being alone in prayer, What makes you think that you don't need to go and pray? It is in prayer that we will get our strength. It is in prayer that we will get our peace. It is in prayer that we will get our courage. Because when we leave from prayer, God will give us what we need to be that light in dark times. I reference the light and shining as God's purpose for our life. In order for God to get glory from your light You have to be available for his using. There's a song we used to sing when I was younger growing up in the church. It says, Lord, I'm available to you. But my question is, are you really available for God to use? What are you doing with the light that God has given you?
You have a purpose because Jeremiah 1 and 5 says, before I formed you in your mother's womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. So before you and your par- before your parents came together to create you, God had a plan for your life. I challenge you today that although you may see darkness all around you to get before God in prayer and ask him to show you your purpose, show you how you can be a beacon of light for his glory. I thank you for listening. Have a great day.